All right, all right, all right. It's time for game three of today's I cast your freaking awesome replays. It is the toddler tantrum challenge where players act their age, emotional age. Up here in the top right, in the red, representing himself, it's a mongoose. A wild mongoose challenges. Down here in the bottom left, in the blue, it's an Archidex. That name rings a bell. I don't know if I've done like free coaching during one of my newbie streams for Archidex or, or has been featured in IC, but Archidex rings a bell. Uh, I actually don't know what a mongoose is, so I'm quickly... I'm trying to search it and control in on my second monitor is not working. It, it's not actually a goose, right? Isn't it like some sort of like ferret type fucking creature or something? We don't have mongoose. I was trying to Google mongoose. Yeah, we don't have them in Australia. I, I don't actually know. It's a small mammal that eats cobras. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little weird kind of angry ferret type thing. Why is it called a goose then? That doesn't even make sense. That's random. Um, so anyway, it's like a ferret needs cobras. That's pretty badass, dude. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so Mongoose is going to go hatch into a 16 pool. Meanwhile, Archidex is going for a 13 uh, pool into a macro hatch uh, to create the uh, logical build order here. Uh, all right, guys. Um... We're about to see some weird shit. Um, if I had to bet, I would say Mongoose, the player who's following the more standard build, is probably going to get angry if if he starts losing after spotting this proxy hatch. Because you know what's going to happen? He's going to see the proxy hatch. He's going to say, that doesn't make that much sense. That's kind of silly. And I think Mongoose is going to go, you're playing the game wrong. I don't understand it. Therefore, it's wrong. I'm not going to make the correct adaptations. But rather than that being my fault... I am going to blame you for playing the game incorrectly. This, this is my prediction. Let's see how on point my Warlock games are. Let's see. Let's see. All right, guys. So don't forget, by the way, there aren't new rules for Icy Fart. Why are there new rules? Because for the next 10 episodes, this next upcoming challenge included, they are all sponsored. You can win money by getting your replay in Icy Fart. $40 USD will be going to the winner every single episode voted on by the viewers right after the show this starts next week with the peeping tom challenge so send in your replays where you guys try to get as much vision as possible i want observers everywhere burrowed zerglings everywhere i want you to proxy a sensor tower outside your opponent's base while doing an otherwise normal build just to freak them out just pull out your weird scouting crazy tips i don't know if it gets to late game build 26 command centers Permanently scan the entire map. Send me in your best replays. It's all sponsored, of course, as part of the Liquid Rain Icy Fire Challenge. Liquid Rain is a sci-fi novel uh, about technology and our future and AI and all sorts of awesome shit and how it's going to affect our world. It's a great book written by Omar Morky. He's in chat. He's been featured in Icy Fire. For anyone who remembers the infamous dropping banelings in the Terran main, running them into the mineral line, and then burrowing them. He wrote, he's that guy. He's that guy. He wrote this book and he's giving away a couple thousand dollars to you guys for the next 10 episodes. So get your best, funniest, most epic replays in. And uh, the best ones will, of course, $40 for the winner each week. But then also the videos with the most number of likes by June 1st on my YouTube. Top three of those will get a couple hundred dollars. 300 USD first place, 200 USD for second, and 100 US dollars for third. So you guys can actually win a ton of money. And this is just an extra incentive for you guys to have fun with the challenge. Try playing StarCraft a little bit differently and just enjoy the game. Have some fun. Hopefully your replays get featured. I, I honestly think just having the chance to have a fun game and kind of show it off is already an awesome enough reason to want to play IC Far. But the fact that now you guys get some cash as well, that's, that's incredible. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> alright guys, let's let's keep talking about this game. Right now, Mongoose has no idea what the hell is going on. He's like, you're on one base, I'm gonna make Ling Bane. I gotta, I gotta stay safe, let's make a good amount of Ling Bane. You know, I gotta, I, I'm just gonna chill. Don't know why you've got creep there. I haven't really made an effort to scout anymore, and he's about to get his first inkling of the weirdness that this game is. Let's go to Mongoose's camera. Mongoose is like, what? Is that a, is that a Night of Swim? Okay, I'm being Night, is that a Macro Hatch? Is that Mash Queen? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> right, let's get back to everyone's camera. There's a Roach Warren on the way. There's Lings and Banelings here. Now, where does Archidex have vision? Only up here. The Nidus Worm is finished. There is right now Queens and plus one Ranger. It's, it's, it's Mass Queen. It's a Mass Queen Nidus out of Archie Nidus. This is, <laughs> this is terrible, right? Surely. 
<laughs> There's a ton of energy. But where's the Nidus going to go? What the hell? The Overlord's not even moving into position. Um, Argidex is just building slow Zerglings at plus one range Queens. And is like still not even going for the Nidus. It's like, nah, I need to mac her up on one base a little bit more. Oh my god, eight queens? Are you kidding me? The Overlord finally moving into position and the little butthole starts to chew its way out of the ground. This queen's like, oh shit, oh shit. Mongoose not reacting. Let's go to Mongoose's camera. Mongoose is like, I better box me army because I didn't have them control grouped. Let's come up here. Oh my god, it's taken so long to get up there. The bailings aren't there. Can't pop the Nidus. Oh my god, endless transfuse. Band-Aids galore. The queens, they're screaming like a toddler who's just had a scrape on its knee. They're, mom, Band-Aid, mom, Band-Aid. But they're all slapping Band-Aids on each other. They annihilate the Ling Bane, only losing two or three of those queens in the process. And the plus one, actually plus one range isn't even done. It's just a bunch of queens and slow Zerglings. Archidex says, GG. Get out of my game, dickhead. <laughs> Mongoose is like, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Coming up with a few roaches. No, the roaches are getting surrounded. Every roach is so valuable. Oh, let's them get surrounded. The other roach is chilling here. Mongoose trying to expand to the corner map, trying to hang on here, trying to contain his rage. Archidex is like, get fucked, mate. Offensive GG. I gotta compensate for how sad of a human being I am. Yeah. Make sure my opponent knows when they lose because I tell them. If, if I don't tell them, then they might not know they're losing. Haha. <laughs> now I'm gonna go for my uh, game winning transition. It's called plus one carapace and uh, more queens. I got three queens queued on each hatchery because I'm good at macro. I'm, I'm not gonna bother getting down to the natural. It's more important to just kill random structures in the main. Ah, oh, yeah, let's, may, maybe we should work our way down to the natural now. He can't possibly have anything left. I killed all his buildings. Um, Yeah, that's a wall of spines. I, please walk down this ramp, Archidex, you cocky piece of shit. Please. <laughs> Turns around is like, okay, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. These roaches gonna back down. They don't wanna go up the choke point. The queen's running down the ramp again. No. Oh my god, more tentacle action than a hentai when you walk down that ramp. That was nasty. Archidex does try to pull back but can't avoid the venomous vomits of these roaches. They do start to throw those attacks all over the queens. The queen's like, yeah, may may maybe, maybe we can't win this game just yet. It's fine. It's okay. We've got plus one carapace on the way and I've got more queens on one base. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is fucking juicy. Fucking juicy. Mongoose up on 11 workers down to the 16, but is actually up a base and can slowly crawl back into this game if Mongoose can drone this base. We've got some info from chat. Uh, my researcher, Jamie, who apparently I stole from the Joe Rogan show, has said, uh, Mongoose is derived from the Teleju, one of the people that had them as local animals named for their Mungisi, but was later changed to the Mongoose because of English speakers can't just use already existent words. They wanted to bastardize it and make it as easy to say as possible. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate that. Researcher chat entity. Uh, I, a few people said that. Sorry, I already I already lost the spot in chat where it was. Thank you. Appreciate appreciate the, the research. We, we know more about Mongoose now. Um, yep. Okay. Oh, Queens from the high ground. But uh, I, we're talking about... Oh, God. Oh my god, the queen's are just gonna tank it to the face! Oh god! Ugh! Ugh! No! No, 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 no! Archidex, you've been watching way too much Japanese Triple X videos if you think this is a good idea! No! Don't do that! Ah! Oh, gross! Ugh! Ugh! Way too many tentacles there. That was not a good strategic decision. Archidex is like, I better micro me queens back and forwards to distract ya. Meanwhile, I've got me one base spire transition on. Still haven't thought about expanding. I've got 1,400 minerals in the bank. Um, okay. All right. One base, one base, mutt, mutt. Yeah, I mean, there's no anti-air for Mongoose. I suppose it could work, yeah. There's more drones down here. Mongoose finally takes the work lead at 20 workers to 18. Nine minutes into this game, Archidex, after an immensely successful Nidus Worm, is just, just showing good strategic decision making. Took about six minutes to realize this drone was stuck there, unable to build the hatch. Finally lifts the spine crawler and is like, oh, I guess I'll take a natural. Mongoose is like, oh, me opponent's expanding. Oh, no. Meanwhile, Archidex is like, my spy is finished, but you know what? I'm going to play some mind games. I'm not going to use it, and I'm going to build an infestation pit instead. Oh, this is a day nine level mind game. This is this is chrono boosting your warp gate to make it look like a four gate and going plus one air weapons. This is that level of strategy. I mean, Archidex here is like, I'm gonna trick you. 
because you'll anticipate the mutas are coming, even though you didn't scout them. Mongers! <laughs> Responds with a little bit of cheeky BM. Arky Dak says, you're a moron, but okay. The classic, I'm gonna pretend I'm above that and that didn't affect me, but okay. It's it's dismissive, it tries to give off the image of I'm not actually seething right now, there isn't a vein throbbing out of my forehead in rage, I, I'm not really, really mad after my offensive GG happened and I wasn't able to finish the game. Nah, I, I, it's, but okay, but okay. I'm gonna go hive now, still not using the spire. This is genius level strats right here, guys. Remember, this is the best way to go to Broodlords. What you do is when your lair finishes, you start a spire because you need a spire before you're allowed to build an infestation pit. Then you build the infestation pit. Now, when the infestation pit finishes, you wait about 30 seconds to add some BM in chat, kind of make make your opponent realize you not you don't actually care if you win or lose. Then start the hive. And when this hive finishes, we can start a great aspire, build two broodlords, and never take these gases on the natural. And this is just solid economic play, strategic decision making. Arky Dex here, giving us a masterclass on how to play incredible, high level StarCraft. Remember guys, as Kat said, always prioritize BM over macro. Oh, oh, prioritize BM over macro. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that was Kat saying, don't do that while smashing Combat X after being way behind. Ah, uh, Combat X was too busy shit talking and cats came back and wrecked him. Infamous game. And um, I think Arcudex might be suffering the same thing. Take Takes, uh, was it six minutes from the first night of succeeding before he decided to take an expansion? Genius. Genius level strategy here from Arcudex. Has decided here to learn from Alpha Star. Has got six workers on one gas. Is now, now let's let's fix that up. Let's, let's make it just five. I, I've heard five is optimal. Actually, you know what? Maybe I need more min- Oh, pull them all off. And we'll just stand him here. No, we need more spines on one base. Holy shit. What am I watching? Ah. And remember, guys, you got to go ranged uh, upgrades because that helps Broodlords because Broodlords throw their attacks from a range. So Archidex is going to give us a real uh, real good lesson in, in what upgrades are the right ones to go for show, sure, for show. Sure. Mongoose here is like, I got like a billion roaches and roach bead, dude. I'm making some generic shit. Still has almost no anti-air. Five Mutalisks would have won this game. But remember, that Spire, it was just there to allow us to build the infestation pit. <laughs> ah. uh, all right, but there's a few people watching on YouTube right now, and they're like, I, I don't get it. You don't actually need a spy to build an infestation pit. People that watch the game, but maybe maybe don't actually play it, you don't do this. This, this What Archidex is doing... He, this is this is Zerg science school. Like, I actually think Archidex might have, have have gone and done half a degree in Florencio science school and half a degree in Avillo shitbag school, um, because we can see Archidex here, you know, a little bit angry but also a little bit creative with the build orders in, in a way which doesn't make sense to my brain. But that's because my brain is too simple. I have not graduated from Florencio science school, so I only understand uh, logical plays. But uh, you know, sometimes there is power in the illogical. Speaking of logic, Mongu says, I've built fighting units. Let's go attack with them. Uh, that hatchery gets absolutely obliterated. These drones are like, I think we can beat that many roaches. We should probably A-move rather than retreating. The roaches are like, you guys kidding? Uh, the roaches run up the ramp and Mongu says, okay, nah, nah, I'm going to I'm gonna pull back from that. Uh, Archidex is like watching this guy. And he's like, pig, that's why I built the extra spine crawlers, you idiot. I needed to hold the ramp. Meanwhile, the attack is finally preparing. The staging point is here, training is underway, and two offensive broodlords morphing on the opposite side of the map. A brilliant maneuver here by Archidex. Still has no idea about this expansion in the bottom right. We've got double upgrades on the way for Mongoose, who still also has not been scouting that main. There's no idea there's a hive. Four more broodlords. There's gonna be six broodlords. Oh my god, how are you gonna deal with this? Oh my god, two spires just started in the main. Mongoose, is going double spire? <laughs> it's gonna work. These roaches happen to rally down and they spot the broodlords ahead of time. That's very important. I actually feel like these roaches might be able to bust that ramp. If they just focus fire, the transfusers will not be able to land, but they definitely cannot fight that. Now, funnily enough, Archidex actually has creep tumors in the base and sees the double spire going down. So should be aware these broodlords are on a timer. They only have one minute until we're going to see air units hitting the field. Sporkrill is trying to go down in a bit of desperation. But the broodlords are here and they are ready to throw their babies into combat. He might have offensive GG'd, 
he might have done a bit of an odd transition but the one base broodlord is making it happen right now they're coming forward they're fighting that queen goes down babies nibbling their way on this hatchery roach is taking damage the spines trying to hang on hydra's building they're not going to get the job done those spires not quite finished just yet mongoose is in a fit of panic desperately trying to hold on here remember guys that plus two range attack really helping these broodlords a ton right now because remember they throw their units from a range and therefore ground range attack should count for the broodlords because their attacks hit the ground and um, Archidex might be watching this replay and learning a few things about how upgrades work. <laughs> I don't know though. Let's let's not give him too much credit. There's a Nidus Worm coming out now. Oh god, a Nidus Worm. Oh shit, if Queens join up with this, that's going to be a huge problem. There's three Corruptors here. There's not going to be enough Roaches left on the ground to get the Queens. Oh god, if there's Queens to transfuse and shoot down the Corruptors, I think Mongoose might actually lose. Is Archidex the D-Bag actually going to be able to do this? I don't know. These Broodlords are doing so little damage with their terrible upgrades. Where are the Queens? You've got to get the Queens there now. Archidex. Arch Let's go to Archidex's camera. Archidex is uh, staring at the Broodlords. Okay, okay. Staring at the Broodlords. Still staring at the Broodlords. And, oh, prioritizing BM over getting the queen support there. As I said, G, G. That's right. Oh, God, there's a few Corruptors. Archidex still typing is going, ah, Broodlords, attack those Corruptors. Ah, still trying to figure it out. Looks back at home about 20 seconds later. <laughs> boxes the queens, clicks them on the Nidus. Mongu says, oh, what was that, buddy? Below, you can't be, oh, God, the queens are here. The queens are here. They've managed to save three of the Broodlords. The Corruptors back off. Archidex is like, it's fine, mate. My queens are here to support. You're still going to lose this game. Little does he know that there's still spires up in the main. Corruptors are building up. Don't build hydras. Stop building hydras, Mongoose. No. <laughs> Mongoose is mining gas, taking another base on the south side. Still has more economy. Remember, guys, Archidex's main is gone. Archidex is on the last thousand minerals. It's all about the transfuse and these three broodlords. Mongoose just headbutting these roaches into these broodlords and slowly losing them all over like six minutes straight. Ah, uh, jeebus. Ah, uh, that was that was gross. And uh, these broodlords here. Uh-oh. Corruptor's coming forward. Corruptor's coming forward. They're going to slide down. Where's the transfuse? The transfuse is coming. The queen's trying to defend. One corruptor falls. Oh, man. Archidex showing the sick micros there. Oh, my God. My Micros. Micros Las Vegas. That does not rhyme at all, pig. That's a fucking travesty. You shut your mouth. Three broodlords here still doing damage. The queen's taking down the Evo chamber, but the spies are still up. We got Hydra's roaches in the main. Corruptors randomly flying around the map. More Hydra's building. No, Mongoose, stop it. <laughs> Build Corruptors. <laughs> Just get enough Corruptors. <laughs> I think Mongoose has given up on the Corruptors and is building unupgraded Hydra's. They don't have Hydra upgrades. They're one of the worst units in the game. No, these broodlords are going to do so good. But oh, the queens go a bit far ahead. The queens are getting focused down. The queens are getting focused down. Oh, but Archidex is so on point with the transfuse. No, the broodlords. The broodlords are moving into small crawler range. <laughs> one broodlord. No, another broodlord. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just throwing two broodlords away by moving them into sprawl corner range. <laughs> Archidex, no! <laughs> ah. Ah. <gasps> the Corruptors! The Corruptors are here! Where's the transfuse? The transfuse didn't go down! <laughs> ah. Oh my god! There was only one thing that had to happen, just one, and that was keep those broodlords alive at all costs. There was so much transfuse, but the queens were focus firing roaches and hydras, so the broodlords moved over the spores to attack the units up here, <laughs> and the queens didn't even realize they weren't even trans transfusing. Oh. <laughs> the one thing. Meanwhile, Mongoose is like, hmm. I'm going to make Ovi Speed, which is adorable, by the way. I love it. Drones long distance mining here for Archidex, who's gone back to just massing queens since they're the unit that's given Archie so much success. Oh, oh my God, that red hit point queen there. She's on four kills for Mongoose. <clears throat> she does have one one upgrades. We've got a little squad of, of Hydras and Corruptors. Now, there is still one base mining here. The income is still infinitely higher for Mongoose. Mongoose could actually build like five hatches right now. Those queens murder that queen. Oh god. She's got like a little tongue waggling in her rib cage. Ew, gross. Um, Mongoose does see the long distance mining. This circling up here for Arky, spotting the top left, but Arky still has no idea about the base in the bottom right. 
A lair does start to go down. The spires have fallen, and that's a big problem. So we've just got a hydrant, and still none of these hydra upgrades. But you know what? <clears throat> Doesn't even matter. Hydras do a lot of damage. I mean, these are two on queens, though. Hmm. Corruptors aren't really going to help out. I wouldn't mind a little bit of pee action. Got to give these mongoose a couple cans of Mountain Dew and get them into the action. Get them into action. A couple 40s of Mountain Dew. Full bladder. And a couple dead hatcheries. I think that could work quite well. Archidex does have a lot of queens. I like how Archidex is like, hmm, why haven't I won the game yet? Let's go to Archidex's camera. Let's try and get in the mind. Archidex! Oh, was it Archidex who made Ovi, Ovi Speed? No, it wasn't. Sorry, let's go to Archidex's camera. Here we go. So Archidex is like, hmm, there's overlords up there. If I kill them, does that make me win the game? I'm not sure Archidex understands the rules of Star... No, you just have to find the buildings, buddy. That, that, I mean, it's cute. Oh, he's going to start killing the overlords. Okay, if you kill all of them, that'll be good. No, Mongoose reacts, runs away. Archidex is like, it's fine, dude. It's fine. I'm going to look around. Okay, I'm going to spread a creep tumor so my queens can move. I'm going to spread some more creep here as well. I want to get into... That's a... Where did they come from? Me opponent's a cheater. Oh, no. Let's see. Are the transfusers going to land? Are they going to land? Are they... Oh, some nice transfusers, but that's just too much Hydra damage, man. Hydra upgrades are finally queued up, and the only expansion of Archidex, the only mining of Archidex gets shut down. Hydra say, get out of here, buddy. Get out of my game. Archidex is like, where did they come from? Oh, no. Back to turtling on one base. I mean, that's one thing as Archidex. You just say Archidex has had solid defense of the main base ramp for the last 21 minutes. That's the one thing. Archidex has not been breached in that main base. Archie's like, it's fine. I got my queens here, my spines here. I'm ready to hold the ramp. I don't know if that's a winning strategy, though. The drones are going to go back to long distance mine. Queens versus Hydra's off creep. The queens are on move command. No, three of them die before any transfusers land. Only a single Hydra goes down for all six queens. <laughs> <laughs> More hydras are out. Remember, guys, this is the game that started with the mass queen and slow zergling Nidus in the main, wrecked Mongoose's main, and Archidex opened with a GG offensively. Mongoose responded by defending the queens, moving down the ramp into the arc of spine crawlers, and responded with a GG and a couple of squiggly eyes. Archidex later on said, You're a moron, but okay. Then, Archidex came in with the Broodlords, started doing the damage, and said, as I said, GG. Now, those Broodlords all walked into Spore Crawlers due to the high level micro of Archidex, and Mongoose responded with a, a what? Question mark. Now, I can only await the final words of Archidex as he comes to grips with his imminent mortality. Soon enough, Archidex is going to be welcomed into the gates of Valdictown. It's not quite Dicktown. It's not quite Valhalla. It's where you go in StarCraft when you've been a bit of a bag of dicks. So you sit around a table, you drink mead with other douchebags, there's the spirit of a villo there, combat axe, all the people who hack and cheese while being dickheads, the offensive GG is, frustration sitting over there somewhere as well. And you know, you sit there and you go, this is not too bad, we get to drink, we get to share stories of being dickheads. And then a chime rings in the distance. You say, what's that? All the other dickheads around you say, ooh, it's, uh, it's uh, Slappy Baggins time. You say, what's Slappy Baggins time? And before you know it, a bag of dicks hits you in the face. You go, what? Ow! And then suddenly the ghosts of the macro players the fucking spirit of Liquid Rat comes out. The mannered Dr. Dario TLO warriors come out. All the brave pro gamers who are admirable, honorable, and humble. The spirit of Cyril at their head. A crown upon his head and a bag of dicks in his hand. Spinning madly. Smashing it into your face over and over again until you are but a bruised and bloodied mass. And just as you lose consciousness, the last words you hear is, Why were you a dickhead? Why? Why did you have to act your age? Why did you have so many toddler tantrums? Now, you are trapped here for eternity. As you awake, you realize that you're waking up at the same table in the same mead hall. You once again are there drinking mead with the other dickheads. And for a moment you think, maybe it won't happen again. Maybe we'll just get to have a drink, have a good time. And just when a little bit of hope enters your life, Slappy Baggins time starts again. In ride the Knights of Macro, the Knights of Mannered Play, 
and honorableness, and they start slapping you in the face with a bag of dicks once again. Of course, a bit of fantastic chat there at the end of that game, so let's go over that again. For anyone who's watching on mobile, didn't have a chance to read that. We've got to read out the BM. So let's go back just about a minute and a half there, fast forward through that, and catch the end of this, of course, as Mongoose slowly, slowly oh, won this game. Keeps on slowly breaking down, does some damage, picks away. Mongoose says, I got more, buddy. And Archidax is going to say some final words as he accepts his place in the Hall of Valdic Town. I don't care. You play like an annoying little brat. I don't really care about this boring game of finding your base. <laughs> Still hasn't found. <laughs> Mongu says, you cheesed it, mate. Archidax says, go play Fortnite. Bye. Beautiful, beautiful, juicy game there. Uh, you know what? He's, at least he's going to get a few minutes of drinking meat and sharing stories of being a dick before getting slapped in the face by uh, Slappy Baggins time. Oh, G, 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 G. Yes, indeed. The perfect title right there. Go play Fortnite. Bye. Uh, it should just be go play Fortnite. I think it should just be go play Fortnite. Toddler Tantrums Game 3. That was a beauty, that one was. Oh, legendary. Oh, I love when players just prioritize being such douchebags. That was fantastic. Guys, don't forget, everything from next week is... Uh, tagging Fortnite will get us 200k views, Triple Helix says. Oh, awesome. We're going to get so many views, guys. It's going to be great. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. So um, don't forget, get your replays in for IC Far. It is now sponsored by Liquid Rain for the next ten episodes. Exclamation mark! Uh, can you guys can you guys play that? It's exclamation mark Liquid Rain in chat, and of course exclamation mark IC Far. The next challenge is Peeping Tom, where you have to get as much vision as possible. I want you guys to basically create map hacks without actually hacking within the game. Send me in your best replays of that, and uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, send in your best replays. There's cash prizes on the uh on the line a ton of money as well as just even more pride um so thank you very much for Amamoki and liquid rain the novel for sponsoring the next 10 ic files appreciate it go show them some live love there's a link in chat you guys can go buy the book there yourself honestly i'm just excited to have more of these quality games thank you very much for the support guys we'll see you next week with the first sponsored ic far send me in your best peeping tom perverted games catch you guys then goodbye and good night Boop -boop.